Hi ragazzi, ciao guys, Zamo Zamo here. How you doing? How are you? Welcome back to another video. In today's video we're gonna have so much fun, I cannot wait to start this video. In today's video we're gonna talk about what is best buying vintage. We're always getting bombarded by like messages and discounts and emails and sample sales, but there is certain things which I think are better bought vintage. So I'm just gonna guide you through it so that you can shop in a smarter way and uh, get the best value for your buck, have fun and, uh, and get like, you know, some nice addition of your closet if you want to for this fall and winter. By the way, every week we drop a video, we have a coffee together, join the Zamo Zamo channel. You know, we call it the Spaghetti Army. It's fun, so don't forget to like, follow and subscribe. Let's get a coffee, let's get a water and let's get into it. Let's start with food. There is always a lot of footwear option, but I think that it's better to go vintage in two cases. Overall, as a material, I think it makes sense to go vintage if you're talking about leather shoes. Leather shoes are high quality, they're easy to resolve, they're easy to clean, especially if you go on the higher expensive end, really makes sense to look at secondhand options. I am thinking about a few models. First of all, I'm really into like the Timberland 3 i shoe. I really like how you have like this kind of winter sole to them and you can really find them in thrift shops for like 40 euros, 50 euros. And trust me, the quality of those from like the 90s, the 2000s is way better than modern one. So don't forget about that. Same thing can be said, of course, for example, for the Paraboot Michaels. I got myself a pair of Paraboot Michaels and I got them on vintage second hand, only 120 euros instead of 500. If it's luxury, you know, you can clean them, you can and resolve them really makes sense in my opinion and otherwise i think that that kind of conversation about leather also makes sense if you're talking boots especially for example if you're talking a high quality boot like tenor i really like their utility climbing hiking you could do anything survival boots i think that uh, in the last of us they're actually wearing those boots dunner boots for example is something i'm getting more into and same thing can be said about the omnipresent our legacy camion boots that i'm wearing today i also got them second hand i say second hand you know but they could be an amazing quality they can be somebody who just wore them twice so again keep your eyes peeled those were my foot recommendations so high quality leather products always keep your eyes open it can be more designer there's so many brands but this i think it's really great worth yes if we're talking about trousers as we always know you should always start your feet with your shoes and with your pants that's the best part so if we're talking pants i have three options which i think are really worth it first of all is vintage levi's levi's in their like 1990s changed the sizing of their pockets especially for the 501s and they started introducing also elastic membranes and fibers in their pants if you're looking at the levi's pants go vintage especially my favorite model which is the levi's 615 it's a bit of a higher race model with orange tab from the 1990s I absolutely love them. I would recommend to size up. Overall, you can find so many white cream washed for like let's say 20 30 40 euros so overall i would always recommend going vintage and if you want to have older pants i also recommend go for lee go for wrangler because of course levi is a bit inflationated if you really want like let's say a cowboy cut a boot cut or something like that then on addition of this i also love to uh, buy vintage carpet and pants simply because i i was as mentioned in this video i was in antwerp shopping i went to the car art store but the quality of modern car is not there yet carpenter pants cargo pants that you get for 80 euros 100 140 160 cannot compare with a pair of vintage carpenters from the like the 1990s 2000 made in mexico with the double stitching with the fading so i would recommend you guys just take a look at that i think it's really useful and it's always nice you know to give second life to clothes and be conscious and, and responsible and same thing goes also for cargos cargos i would recommend you guys check like military surplus store they're very nice they're very practical you have pockets you have utility so check those for the pants by the way guys this video is sponsored by black taylor they were so nice to send over some garments for the new collection for me to review so if you like anything of their items just you can use the discount code down here for 10 percent off i've been collaborating today with them for a few times and again it's always good quality simple pieces which i think are going to be great for autumn i really like how they use cotton and how they use nylon and i'm just gonna go guide you through a few items that i've been uh, ordering from the collection the first one is the light canvas biker jacket as you can see 
like brown with this nice bike color this is from like their canvas wash canvas collection who i just dropped i really like it it's really nice for layering i really like this rust color and i think it can be work a lot with the um, basic tonal colors i also love the layered zip up jacket in this kind of creamish color i think it can be really playful and it can be worn as a set i also had the black one and i absolutely love it i know how cropped and designer looks and feels then I ordered two pair of cargos, the B3s, the W3 cargos, you know, which are a bit wider, and the B1, which are like a bit baggier. They're both in this cream color, and you know, in my per, in my journey of trying different colorways, those are super, super sick. So if you're looking for a pair of cargos, those are your pick, you know, nice metallic elements, wider fit with a regulated long cut. I also love Epaulet jacket, if you guys remember, this video i actually have the other version which is like the black and purple and i received so many compliments about it my barber is in love with it and overall i just really want to try also this one this is the whiter version i think it makes sense if you're wearing like a lot of gray a lot of black as a nice frame it's nice and oversized and i like how like like sporty but chic and designer it looks absolutely i'm really happy with it i really like the race color and then we are closing up my order with the lightweight canvas zipper jacket this is super nice it's basically like an online rr detroit jacket really nice really cropped really short i had that actually yesterday on for work i might also be wearing it today really 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 toned down and i really like it i also really like this open pocket and then we final uh, finalize the order with two of my favorite one is a relaxed t-shirt i really like how wide the neckline is and you also have like this kind of wash gray really versatile can really be put on all over and i've been worn already twice in a week so i really dig it and the last one is a w3 cargo in dark gray as i mentioned before on the channel i really like dark gray so i really am curious to see how these are gonna play out in my outfit and i'm really happy so overall go check black taylor out it's always nice and cool thank you black taylor for sponsoring the channel and thank you for providing me with some goods don't forget to use the discount code thanks so instead for what the regards top i have a couple of recommendations for shirts and for sweatshirts if you're talking shirt there's nothing like vintage Ralph Lauren Oxford shirts or anyways over shirts thick made in America made in Mexico a bit oversized a bit longer quality is absolutely top notch so I would absolutely recommend you go check those out every second hand store has those you can find them on vintage on second hand platform but I've always been so stunned by the quality and the thickness of the cotton which you know of course with age has gotten thicker so that's for oversized shirts over shorts whatever you want to call them it's a natural fiber breathes better and uh, it's absolutely a must for autumn winter you know just spending 20, 20 euros 30 euros on them so go check out Ralph Lauren of course it's obvious but don't get lost in the sauce you know of the modern stuff which is not up to quality and of course I'm talking Ralph Lauren but probably you're gonna be happy also with some Lacoste products with some Tommy products I just personally have more experience with Ralph Lauren and instead if you're talking still tops I really like sweaters I like vintage sweaters from Russell Athletics from Champions you know Champions is the company the brand that invented the sweatshirt itself like the material so absolutely go for that go for vintage you can find beautiful faded colors crop models nice necklines you can find original prints color stitch prints all for a reasonable price and i think that also in this case going vintage makes more sense you know you can have like a unique sweater that's unique to you has like a nice print a nice story a unique fit you know especially if in the 80s you know the crop was really a thing so crop is a thing again go also like that for the tops then if you're talking about jackets this is my favorite topic is the meat of potatoes of the zamo zamo channel we have four options for jackets jackets are life option number one it's better to go vintage if you want to get a leather jacket modern leather jackets are simply too expensive to produce for the same amount of weight i work in fashion so i'm aware of this like if you want to produce like a premium leather jacket it costs you thousands of euros this is because of like the cost of the product the legislation the difficulty of producing like no one produces it's really hard to find like high quality leather jackets for a reasonable price so go vintage you can find brands like abirex like scott like pelle pelle like marboro classics uh, and many many more redskins for example is a brand that started going into and this applies to leather full jackets bike jackets applies to uh, varsity jackets there is no question out of everything i'm indicating today leather jacket is the priority number one because it's impossible to make leather like that anymore so just go for it leather jacket is absolutely a must any style just go to your vintage store just type leather jacket 
XM time browsing on your platform and you're gonna find some steals and some gems, which again, age with you, you can take care of them, you can clean it, you can nourish the skin, top notch. Option number two is gonna be the Dickies Eisenhower jacket. Carhartt is amazing, but it's also really inflationated, especially their short workwear model like the Carhartt Detroit. So the alternative to that is the Dickies Eisenhower. It's also an amazing workwear streetwear jacket with a beautiful history, but you can find it for way cheaper both new and vintage, so go check that out. Third option then is the deck jacket. Again, this is really vintage lingo, but basically it's those beautiful cotton canvas jackets that used to be worn by sailors when they were going on the deck. So basically the whole crew you know, had like just a few jackets laying around and you were wearing that when you were like outside on the uh, Navy ship. They're famous for their line version, so like the winter version but they're also available in the summer version. So if you're looking for something a bit shorter, a bit unique, with a nice history, go for unlined deck jackets. And then to top it up, I would say trenches. If that's your thing, go ahead, look for them. I would recommend go check Aquascutum. Aquascutum is actually the first British brand who came with the material and the cut of the coat. Amazing brand, failed a couple of times, so you can really find some gems also in the gray colorway, in the blue colorway. I love their checkered pattern. So yeah, I would say overall trench jacket also makes way more sense to make to go get them vintage. New nylon is not that good unless, of course, you pay a hefty price. So yeah, those were my four. And then to wrap it up, you know, coffee in this amazing Zamo mug, courtesy of my beautiful girlfriend. We are wrapping it up. Coffee is almost done. And we're going to talk about accessories. If you're talking about accessories, I just have three recommendations. One, go get yourself a big cap, like a work cap. I found this one, for example, from like this Australian mining company. You can find so many fun merch work caps from like maybe place that are important to you, you're from, you visited. It's always fun and it's really inexpensive. You can really get those for super cheap and have like a nice cap that's not like your new era or in any way something super streamlined that everyone has. Option number two is vintage sunglasses. Of course, same old, go look at your vintage shop, see if they have some vintage sunglasses, look online for vintage sunglasses. The quality was higher, the weight is more resistant, the lens are better. I always say Persol, but you can also go for Marcolin. There's so many brands, honestly, I'm not an expert. Take your time, wait it out. And last one I would say is vintage jewelry. I'm uh, recently getting into silverware. I got, for example, this beautiful our legacy bracelet. I think that there is one brand who's doing it very well, which is called Harpo Paris. They really work with like native heritage and it's beautiful, like Native Americans. Just go check them out. But in general, just like look for, for new old stock uh, jewelry from like the 60s, 70s, 80s. Also super fun. Guys, that was the video. These are my recommendations. I hope you learned something. Of course, this is not something that you should buy right now. But if you're considering, if you're traveling, if you're thinking about something, if it's in the list, go get it vintage. That's my recommendation. If you have any question, if you have other favorites, if you know there's jackets, there are items that I haven't talked about, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, go have a beautiful weekend. And uh, yeah, from me and the mug, it's all. Take care, enjoy, drink plenty of water. Love you, bye.